All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to our Road to Dark Matter series. I just attempted like, more than a few times to go for a nuke here and record it. It was so bad. I was having trouble even getting past three kills without dying. Uh, I tried the LW3. I tried the LC10. Uh, I tried the AK-74U. I tried a bunch of different guns and I was just getting messed up completely. So maybe we'll go for that a different time. If you guys have strategies for a nuke, please leave them below. I need all the help I can get. Uh, people are saying to like reverse boost and all that. And I, I don't I don't got time to reverse boost, but we're gonna be working working on the new sniper here, the ZRG. Uh, I leveled it up just a little bit. Uh, we have some new unlocks for it. We've unlocked a few new attachments for it. Nothing has really changed though with our build too much because you know nothing else is really that great. I think rapid fire might be better. We're chilling with what we're at. Our camo progress really quick. We're almost done with spray. Getting there with stripes. We have seven We have seven bloodthirsty so far, which is not bad. Uh, we need to up our long shots a bit, but this is the class we're using for it. We're going to go ahead and hop in the throwback mosh pit and just try to crank some camo is out for it. All right. First game is on raid. This is such a beautiful map, by the way. But uh, there's a few things going on. Uh, right now, there's a bug in zombies for PC. We're going for higher rounds, even past like it's been recommended to not even play past round 15 because right now people are getting just straight up banned for like perma banned just for playing zombies i some people think it's linked to the whole new like war zone ban wave and it's somehow gotten a cold war i don't know exactly what's going on but it's some like sale 630 bug where people are just getting straight up losing their whole account just for playing zombies not cheating not doing any crazy exploits or anything literally just playing zombies so i think road to dark aether has to be on pause for a minute here unless we can figure out a solution or the bug gets fixed Ooh, easy double who else oh that's who else but the road to dark aether has to go on pause i do not want to risk my account getting banned that, that kind of puts a damper on uh my collab with samuel the 17th it's supposed to happen and then like a day or two here but if the zombies bug is still happening you might have to put it on a hold until it gets fixed. So hopefully it gets resolved by then. I've even heard uh, rumors of it happening to people on Xbox. So if you guys are playing zombies, be careful. Like uh, Treyarch hasn't said anything about it yet. I think they replied to somebody on Reddit and said like, oh, it's fine to go for high rounds. There shouldn't be a bug or anything. But then I I've seen uh, multiple people come out and show that their account has been like perma banned just from playing zombies so we're gonna we're gonna stay away from it for the time being here also the, these next few videos probably just gonna be on this sniper until we get it done uh we there's really not much else in cold war at the moment there's some uh gunfight tournaments that we might be doing here in the future uh i've, I've been talking with uh lego unlocked uh, we might we might try to do one of those try to see if we can win a championship so be on the lookout for stuff like that in the future uh, also, I I finished writing the script for the launcher's guide. That should be coming soon. I know there's a bug right now with a science camo. There's a lot of bugs in this game, honestly. Right now, there's like a science camo bug for like launchers and I think like the M79, which is really frustrating. I don't know what's going on with this game. I, I, I just need them to get it together. Oh, we're kind of going on a tear there. I was kind of thinking on holding off on making that uh, the guide video until then. I think I'll just like try to get it done, get it ready. Uh, I've been kind of busy, so I haven't had a chance to like edit it all together. But it, it's it's in the works. The script's done. Uh, I just gotta record it all and then go and find all like the the clips that pertain to it. What? That bolt back time is so crazy. He had enough time to shoot three bullets and the time it took me to shoot one like that that's just ridiculous but you know even with the really slow bolt back time and everything i think i might have been too harsh on this gun but i i might have been quick to jump the gun on this i've i've been doing kind of decent with it i still don't think i've had a game well maybe i've had like one or two where i've gone positive with it the rest it's like i don't know it could be so much better i also it's not maxed out i don't have all the attachments on it i'm basically still just using the blueprint version of the gun because i don't have much for it but we're trying here. There we go. Finished off with the spray camos. Oh, shit. Oh, he tomahawked me. I feel like it's been forever since I've hit a tomahawk. Maybe that's why I've been in such like a like a dry streak. I need to hit one. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take a no stoke. That works too. Peek it. There we go. One of the only times where I say peek it and they peek it and I actually kill them. Oh, there we go. 
headshot medals. We got 25 of them now. I, I think it just took a little getting used to for this gun for me to start like getting in the groove with it. I still don't think it's that great. People are saying, oh, it has more bullet velocity than the, the LW3. And yeah, like that's true. And this thing can one shot kill from the waist up. But even if you hit mark with the LW3, the, by the time you rechamber, you can rechamber, rescope, and shoot before this gun, you even get a second chance at shooting. I still think the LW3 is better, but it's not as bad. This gun isn't as bad as I initially thought. But one game in with it so far today. Uh, we got a new stock here. Still, I think the QVC is probably the best that we got so far. Maybe we'll try out the rapid fire this next game we're almost done with our headshots or at least we're halfway there we still need to get some bloodthirsties with that and some long shots i feel like this throwback mosh pit is like only raid i don't think i've ever seen a like actually played a game of express on here and then nuketown hardly ever shows up but nuketown is its own playlist there we go easy double who else oh the triple but I'm still kind of getting frame drop issues here. It's only happened recently with the update. It only happens when I'm recording too. I know OBS, I know Streamlabs OBS takes up a lot of uh, uh, GPU and CPU. And I tried recording with uh, normal OBS studio. But when I looked at the, the video after, oh, I thought I killed him. He just kind of dropped. I was looking at the recording after and it was like so pixelated. I think I need to up the bit rate. And like my audio was all in one track instead of like multiple tracks like I normally have it in case I need to mute something or turn volume up, turn it down in different situations. So I still need to figure out my normal OBS settings. There should be a way to import it. I just got to figure it out. But right now we're stuck. Oh, we need some snipes here. We got one bullet in the chamber and we're gone. No way. We are getting slapped around now. We started out hot and now we're just getting annihilated. Oh, that could have been a collat. Oh. It's not bad for jump shots if you if you know where they're at. I'll, I'll give this gun that. Ooh. Just barely survived that. We finally hit a tomahawk though. Broke our dry streak. I am just getting demolished here. But we went positive, 22 and 19. But my game is running like ass. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart and we will be right back. All right, we are back with a restarted game. Only two more headshots than before. Still no bloodthirsties, no long shots. We are struggling on camos right now. Oh, dang. Wow. How did we get Nuketown? I didn't switch to Nuketown 24 seven or anything. I, I, I can't stay away. It's too good for grinding camos. Maybe from, from here on out, we'll start with a different map if possible. And then we'll go back to Nuketown because it's honestly so good. There's a reason it's been in like every Black Ops game ever. It's just so crazy for grinding. Okay, we need to focus on some five times here. I really want to go for a nuke. I do. I think it might have to be a stream thing because I honestly, I could I could not get a bloodthirsty the whole time I was recording for a nuke. I think I recorded for like an hour and then I was just getting frustrated. So I was like, okay, well, this is not going to be able to be a video because it's just me trying to focus on, on playing well and then getting mad that I'm not. So you know, it wasn't entertaining or anything. So I'm scrapping it. You know, hopefully you guys understand. I do. I really, I want to try it. I need to get one. Because if we're, we're going to be going for these dark ops challenges, we're going to have to get one either way. So I don't know. Maybe we, we will have to reverse boost. I don't want to stoop to that, but if they're going to make us, or maybe I might just do, do a video. Well, I already did the, the launcher deep dive, so I don't really have an excuse to use the launchers. But maybe I'll, I'll mess around with them until my SPM is low enough. So that way I'm not reverse boosting. Like I can sweat with the launchers or something stupid. And then after we're done with that, we can try. Someone peek out, please. There we go. Do you want to peek back over here, sir? So I can get this fifth kill. There we go. That's some progress towards a camo. Ooh, that was almost a clat. Oh, got to reload. Take out the whole NES cartridge. I have not seen a soul. Oh, we saw one and we choked it. Oh, he let it, he gave us a second chance. What a lad. Oh, and then they all spawn on us. We hit us seven times. That, that's my nuke for the day. This gun might not be the fastest and easiest to hit sick clips with, but we're going to try. <laughs> okay. 
Oh! Oh. He's crazy. Yeah, I'm doing better with this thing than I was actually attempting to go for a nuke, so... You guys are seeing better gameplay than you would have if I put that video up. And also, I'm sorry if I seem a little off. Uh, I am so exhausted. I... Yesterday, I put two videos up. Ooh, let's go. Oh, I got a war machine. I forget. I still have my, my, my nuke score streaks on. I am so exhausted. Yesterday, I recorded and edited two videos and streamed. Since I, I told you guys that I'm going part-time now, uh, it, it's finally gone through. This th this week, I started going part-time. It's my, like, the first day off I had was yesterday. And I'm, I'm trying to put all that time to good use. Uh, I was grinding. New gun came out right then. It was, like, perfect timing. So I was just trying to get as much content out for you guys as possible. Rechamber it, please. Oh, what a shot. I'm actually kind of nasty with this. All right, you want to use your death machine, your war machine, whatever the fuck this thing is called? I'll use mine. Oh, they have a trophy system, and I killed myself with it. Okay, this is why I don't use death streaks or lethal score streaks, because I either end up killing myself with it or killing teammates when I play hardcore. What the fuck? My whole screen turned to, like, Pink Floyd. I hope that picked up on video and wasn't just, like, a monitor thing or something. That looked kind of cool. They have an AC-130, and that is not Pog. Oh. Is this their spawn? Oh, fuck me. Oh. No. Oh, I should have kept the sledgehammer out. I was kind of going in there. We're knocking these flora challenges out. Is flora holding your breath for all snipers? I don't even remember. I could have swore it. Flora was the same across, like, every weapon, basically, except for the specials and launchers. But I guess I'm wrong. Don't push me. 32 and 20. We're doing better. We're definitely making progress with this gun. There goes your head. Get out of that window. Ooh. It's definitely better than I thought it was. I just wish it was a little faster with the rechamber. I think the rechamber is even... Oh, that, that was so bad. Uh, but I think the rechamber in Warzone for this gun is way faster than in Cold War. Uh, if you haven't seen already, I did do a video uh, with me using this gun in Warzone. Uh, I, I didn't have... I had the same amount of attachments I had when I did the multiplayer video. So it's not as the best it could be, but it was not doing too well. It was taking like two, maybe even three shots to kill somebody with it. I didn't even think I, I even did kill anybody with it. I broke armor on like two people. But I've, I've seen people talk like saying like someone's gotten like a 680 meter hedge, like meter kill with this thing in Warzone. So it's obviously it has the bullet velocity to kill. But I, I think before we go back to Warzone with this, I definitely need to get it like max level. That way we have all the attachments we need for it. And then maybe we can find a crazy build for it or something. With this whole uh, part-time thing, I'm trying, I think within like the next few weeks, I'll have like a definitive schedule going. But right now I'm trying to find what day works best for me to, cause I'm trying to add an extra day to stream. If you guys don't know, I, I do stream over on Twitch on Mondays and Wednesdays. Sometimes the times vary. So that's why I'm trying to get like a dedicated schedule going. But if you guys want to see when I go live, I'll put it on like my Instagram story or Twitter. So you guys can follow me there if you want to see when I go live. But I'm trying to find where I can squeeze in an extra day to stream. I'm still going to be trying to upload daily. But I'm also going to try to get certain types of videos out. Like on, on certain days. So you guys know what to expect. You know, obviously new content's going to drop. And it might take place of, uh, you know, whatever's going on. We'll, we'll try to loosely stay to a schedule. But I know how, I know how crazy COD can get. And like they can add new stuff at a moment's notice. So that would be like that day's video. Or... You know, you know, there could be bugs where you get banned for playing zombies. So then we have to do something instead of playing zombies. But we will see. Also, uh, I think as I'm recording this, like there was just a Warzone update. It moved the zombies from TV station to Superstore. Honestly, I think Superstore is a good spot for the zombies. That's everyone's main landing spot now. It's it's the tilted of Warzone. Ever since that whole like uh, money bug happened where you can get like 30k within like 20 seconds, just looting ground in Superstore. So it'll be good. It'll, I think like turning that on, it'll make fights at Superstore like more interesting, but also it makes the bombardment actually useful. What did I hit him? The nutsack? 
I was just standing there staring at him waiting for it to rechamber. So it is a little on me, but you know, with the bombardment now on Superstore, you might actually get some kills with it. I don't know, actually, because the bombardment's kind of weird. For it to even be like useful, like it, it only bombards where the zombies are at, if I'm not mistaken. And like, if you've already gone there and you've already gotten the card and the place is already looted, someone's gonna see that and be like, oh shit, let's just not go here. Like Superstore's already like fully looted by time, like you're two minutes into a Warzone game. So a lot of the time it's not even worth it to go in there. And it's impossible to know if anyone's even at like the bombardment location, unless you have an advanced UAV. You need to take out all 40 zombies in the location, get the key, go all the way to the vault that has the whole zombie control system thing. Then you need to buy three UAVs to get an advanced UAV to see if there's any, there's even actually people there. Then you need to use it and hope that they don't run out of there before it all starts. I don't know. I like that they're trying new stuff. They're adding new things and it's not as random because you actually have to work for it and do certain things to do it but it's it's almost pointless to do i appreciate them trying new stuff is what i'm trying to say but we're not too far away from season three maybe they'll add a new zombies map maybe they'll fix the zombies bug so we can actually play zombies uh hopefully there's some new maps for multiplayer we haven't really gotten too much in a while my wish list for uh you know season three maybe a new mode like sticks and stones i really would love to play sticks and stones or like one in the chamber something like that some like gimmicky mode i don't know i want there to be more variety in multiplayer uh maybe a new map or two i want uh like shooting range i think it's called firing range maybe that's like th the one map i want in this game some new guns would be cool i don't know what else they could add they've already added a shotgun they've added like multiple smgs they added an ar They've added this sniper. My dream would my dream would be for them to add another sniper that can compete with the LW3 and doesn't have some weird gimmick where like the rechamber speed is a half hour. As long as they add whatever new gun they add to the game, I just want it to be competitive. A new gun that can compete with the top guns up there, but isn't too overpowered. But even if it is overpowered and they patch it after a week, that's also fine with me because then that's that's content to make. Everyone gets to have fun with the new gun for a little bit. And, you know, besides that, I don't know what else they could add for season three. I don't know. Maybe some cool operators, some cool new blueprints. Definitely more reactive camos. So that, that's my whole season three wish list. But anyways, let's take one final look at our camos that we've gotten today. Sprays complete. Stripes, not that far off. We're getting there for our five kills. Long shots, we are far away. We need to do something about that. And kills while holding our breath, that's easy. One shot kills will be easy. Double kills, are gonna be a little difficult. Uh, we unlocked one more body attachment. We're, we're slowly getting there, level 31. We got 20 levels to go. It's double weapon XP. It should come very quickly. If you guys need to level up any of your guns, I'd do it right now. Uh, if you're still working on camos and stuff, I would hold off on going for camos and just try to level up all your weapons, you know, as many as you can. Uh, that's, that's what I did when I was going for Dark Matter. I just tried to get them all level 50. And then when I wanted to work on the gun, I would just have all the attachments and everything ready for it. I definitely jumped the gun on my assessment on the new sniper. It's, it's all right. I'll, I'll admit, I'll, I'll eat crow on this. You know, usually when I use guns like this and I show you guys me getting them gold, I get them to the point where it's close to gold, then I record. But if you guys want to see me just grind the whole way through this gun, I'm probably going to play with it a little more off screen. But if you want to see me do multiple videos on the same gun of me grinding it, doing different challenges for it, I'm down to do it. I just don't want to oversaturate my whole, you know, every upload I do with this sniper. But right now, it's the only thing out besides Warzone. And I, I am not good at Warzone. But if you like the video, you want to see more, leave a like on it. Uh, if you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Uh, we recently just hit 74,000. So that's pretty sweet. And we're, we're on the road to 100K. Merch store and my Secret Lab affiliate link will be in the description below. And that is it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.